Alright everybody, Jason here again for another video. This is on your small utility trailers. The pros, the cons, uh, which ones to go with and why. Uh, we're going to hit up all of those topics and mainly I want to show you some of the neat accessories and modifications, customizations that I did with this trailer here as the 4 foot by 40 inch Harbor Freight trailer. Uh, because I've gone through trailer after trailer from 8 footers and 4 footers, 5 footers, 6 footers. I've tried all sorts of smaller utility trailers over the years and I've learned from my mistakes and I want to share with you what I've learned on the better way to do things when it comes to using and having and customizing a small utility trailer. So stay with me for the whole video, otherwise you're going to miss something cool that I want to show you. So stay with me, alright? And we'll get started right now. Okay, so <clears throat> this here is a 5 foot uh, by 3.5 foot trailer from Lowe's. And on the left here is the Harbor Freight 4 foot by 40 inch trailer. Okay? So, I've had these before. I've had the larger Harbor Freight folding one. That's an 8 foot by 4 foot wide trailer. Great. Uh, there's positives and negatives to both of those. And there's positives and negatives to this guy. So, we're going to just hit up the fact that for what these trailers are made for as a utility trailer for um, yard tools, you know, small... Um, maintenance tools and toolboxes and yard debris and you know scraps and all that kind of stuff that works out great for that because it's a full steel um, mesh steel caged trailer now what I did if you if you see here is I made a wood box uh, sides tall sides three foot sides um, with lid it's actually a little taller than three feet but anyways uh, you get the idea so so that I and I did that so that I can you know I can throw 40 bags of mulch in there, no problem because it's got nice tall sides. Um, I can put all my camping gear in there uh, and then some because it's a nice large tall box. Okay, the downside of that is when you get tall like that, some towing uh, becomes a little bit of an issue with your smaller SUVs and your smaller cars. Uh, your small sedans and stuff uh, just because because he's a fully steel and cage trailer like this for his size even though he's a five footer he's kind of heavy um, and then once you add you know 800 plus pounds to it it's heavy so towing ends up not being quite so much fun especially for uh, a four cylinder or your weaker four cylinders uh, that don't and and vehicles that don't have quite the uh, transmission that uh, you should have when pulling uh, good sized heavy lo loaded trailers so there's there's the bottom deal with this guy is, is that there was more negatives than there were positives so I'm not going to try to talk any more about that other than pointing out uh, why I did the modifications and customizations that I did to this trailer and why I went back to this trailer. So, this is the 4 foot um, by 40 inch Harbor Freight trailer, the little compact one. Uh, most of the stores do not have them in the store, so you have to order it. You can order it um, at the store. Uh, they gave me a little bit of a hard time because they didn't quite understand that they could now do that uh, when I ordered it uh, about a month or so ago. Um, but but you can do that at least as of now you can so that's that's the way I acquired this sucker uh, the beautiful thing about it is he's less than 300 bucks uh, again at the time when I purchased it and it's a kit it's a build kit so that is one uh, con to it is is that you've got to put this thing together the whole frame and wheels and all that comes in two boxes you got to put it together including installing the lights and if you're not to totally savvy with that uh, don't be too afraid because it is manageable there's plenty of YouTube videos out there showing you how to do it how to do it well um, <clears throat> how to do it and have it look clean and and simplify that whole process so 
don't be too afraid to go this route if you've never done something like that because it's it is doable the beauty with this guy is is it is totally put together everything's a hundred percent ready to go you just buy it and roll off the uh, the parking lot with it uh, to the DMV to get yourself uh, set up so that you're legal on the roads with it wherever your state state that you're in's requirements check all that make sure you're hundred percent legit and good to go so you can't get in trouble for um, when you purchase a new uh, small utility trailer okay general info about these little trailers uh, they're fantastic for the sake of the fact that if you have smaller vehicles or even if you have a truck or a large SUV the trailer I tell you I go camping and do whatever put all my stuff in the trailer when I get uh, if it gets soaking wet or nasty or disgusting or whatever or if when I get home I don't have time to unload it guess what that trailer can be rolled into the garage put in a shed in the backyard sit in the driveway whatever and, it, and I'll get to it when I get to it that's a little bit harder to do with your vehicle uh, usually you need your vehicle and you need your trunk space and you got to fold the seats back up in the backs for the back row to haul kids or whatever uh, so that's kind of a very po a big positive with these small trailers so keep that in mind if you've never done a small trailer before that is one huge advantage to these things uh, another big advantage of these harbor freight trailers over something like this is that these guys even with doing the sides the wood sides and the wood lid and everything um, and as heavy as it is uh, there's not much more you can do I've got in order to do something else I've got to take the sides back off a whole bunch of screws and all it's just it's a mess so not not the greatest way to go if you want versatility if you if you want um, lots of different utility options for your compact trailers this is definitely the better way to go all right so let's walk around and I'll point out each of the sweet features that uh, are equipped onto this trailer first and foremost being this guy right down here okay you notice on the Lowe's trailer, it's a standard wheel jack. This guy, that's not actually a jack. It obviously don't have the wheel. That is a stabilizer for your steps into your motorhome or travel RV. Really sweet that it's capable of holding well over 300 pounds, so it's got the beefiness to it. It's built very well. It's under 20 bucks on Amazon, so I'll include that link in the description. Uh, but what's fantastic about it is it is adjustable, as that is all just one large threaded bolt there, and it folds up and clasps right there and tucks underneath the trailer tongue completely out of the way super minimalistic this looks a lot cleaner than that does that is nasty and bulky in my opinion and I don't like it uh, works really well but this to me is better so this is a huge huge step in the direction that I wanted to go in and having something that's compact minimalistic lightweight and definitely the better way to go uh, for small compact utility trailers alright next thing next cool feature that I want to point out is this box alright so let's go over this box real quick set the tripod back down alright so this box two by fours on the bottom extends up underneath the frame of the trailer wedges up underneath there and wedges uh, around cradles the uh, trailer tongue itself it has one bolt on the inside of it that bolts right into the trailer tongue so it ain't going anywhere when it's on here what's inside is a whole kit for replacing uh, a blown tire so I have my spare tire I have a small uh, um, bottle jack I've got four total two in use right now but uh, the other two right here um, wheel chocks and then on the inside here on the other side of the wheel um, is the uh, the wrench um, uh, socket wrench for taking the nuts off of the bolts on on the wheel hubs so 
total kit, complete package deal, locks up as its own self-sustained box, and there's space in there I can add some uh, cable ties or uh, rope or, you know, safety uh, triangles, flares, whatever. There's there's space I can, I can throw some of that stuff in there as well. Haven't done it yet, probably going to do it uh, sooner than later. So, the beauty is, is that it's all one piece and it's with the trailer. I can remove it when I'm storing the trailer and store the box somewhere else if I want to or need to. Uh, I'll explain why I would want to do that in a little bit. But uh, this is great because it's always with the trailer and not with the vehicle. Because what if the vehicle changes? What if you end up towing this tra your trailer with a different vehicle one day than you do on other days? Then you don't have that kit with the trailer because it's on it's inside of the other vehicle and then also being in the vehicle what if you also have the trailer loaded and then you've loaded up your the back of your vehicle so then it, you gotta have the trouble of unloading half of your trunk all the stuff out of your trunk in order to get to all the all the uh, spare um, safety stuff rather than doing that you have that box in the front of the trailer all as a package deal done that is an awesome way to do it in my opinion and I really really recommend that I'm so glad that I um, processed through that in my mind and executed it because it came out great alright so next thing is these guys the old school way of doing it before they even made these is uh, you take your door hinges and you take out the center pin from your door hinges and then you use the uh, the uh, clasp pins in place of them so that you can take the sides off of your trailer and go down to a flat bedded trailer so that you, and the reason why you would do that is so that you can uh, store the trailer a little bit better uh, you can make different sides for the trailer of different heights and everything um, and, and different designs all that stuff but these guys so much easier than the the somewhat annoying process of having to line up those hinges so that you can drive that pin in the middle pulling it out and pulling and pushing them in sometimes ends up being uh, more of a hassle than than it is a, a solid design these are much easier slide in together much faster much simpler much easier and if anything I've always I've noticed that they give you a much tighter fit they really just join up the sides of the trailer a whole lot better than doing the uh, hinge pins um, with the door hinges so that's that alright the next thing is wood alright <clears throat> This trailer I used uh, standard, uh, you know, plain old Jane plywood. Uh, added the added the uh, plywood floor uh, on top of the mesh net, and uh, used standard plywood. Uh, it ended up being again weight, weight being an issue, especially with the lid. The lid ended up I hated how heavy and bulky that size of, size of a lid and and the thickness of it. I did not like doing that, um, and, and I won't that, do that in the f future. All right, this guy is super thin. It has a has a little bit of flex, uh, which you can't really see in the video here, but has a little. It's really really thin stuff. Okay, it makes it oh so much lighter weight. And the fact that it's a little bit smaller of a trailer, again lighter weight, much easier to deal with. Um, <clears throat> especially if you've got back issues or not you know the greatest arm strength uh, so on and so on alright the next thing is locks in the way of, of securing the lid I tried these out on this trailer and they do okay but I wasn't thrilled with them so not gonna ever do that again uh, went back to the standard uh, hinge uh, class guys like that so that's definitely the better way to do that don't do that I tried it didn't like it it ended up being you know like the hinge hinge door hinges and the pins more hassle uh, more frustration it wasn't terrible but it wasn't great this is straightforward simple and inexpensive easy to do easy to install okay next thing 
I know that some states, some laws uh, require that your license plate has to be lit up, has to have a light on it. Um, you kind of somewhat get away. Uh, I've not had any issues and not been stopped here in the southeast uh, going from state to state with having the license plate on the back like that rather than underneath the one of the tail lights where there is a light that shines down on it. I don't like that because it's so close to the road. It's right there behind the tire. They didn't, the pl plates get bent up and messed up and and dirty as heck and and just I I don't like it being there. Uh, this is a better way to go. And I went with um, not your uh, any kind of screw that's not your typical flathead or Phillips screw. Just an oddball. Um, whether it be an Allen wrench deal or it be the uh, the star bit deal, just something that is not quite so common that uh, you, nobody's, well, it's a whole lot less likely that somebody's going to steal your tack. So there's another tip right there. Don't go with your plain Jane screws. Go with something that's got a fun, uh, fun uh, tool uh, head required for uh, doing those screws so that it's less likely for theft just more secure uh, rubber bumper definitely love the rubber bumper uh, that helps to make sure that uh, I don't ram my lights um, and the trailer itself and every and the whole back side of the trailer into a wall on some building or the garage door or uh, whatever just having a rubber bumper like that is awesome definitely definitely recommend rubber bumper okay now I'm going to go over all together why these Harbor Freight trailers are so awesome and a better choice, a better deal than um, using one of these utility trailers uh, from Lowe's or Home Depot or Tractor Supply or whatever. Alright, first thing is cost. Alright, this guy again is less than 300 bucks at this um, from from Harbor Freight the big eight eight foot uh, folding trailer um, less than 400 bucks when you go go to these other trailers from the other places a good bit more expensive a hundred dollars two hundred sometimes three hundred dollars more okay uh, there's positive and negatives to that like I said you gotta build these whereas those are completely done and ready to go um, but because these are kits guess what you can do you go to, and this is a huge secret, huge, huge help um, uh, to, to many of y'all, including my father who's had these trailers and knows about the Harbor Freight trailers for the longest time. Uh, on Harbor Freight's website, when you go to the page for each of these size trailers uh, on the Harbor Freight page, uh, there at the bottom of the page is a link to a parts list, and you can order any and every single part that they use to build these trailers. So, with that said, when you go to that link, there's a 1-800 number, and you can call and place your order for whatever parts, as many parts as you want, whether it's $3 worth of parts or $300 worth of parts, it's free shipping right now. And, and, and it, so it was sweet, no matter what, how much parts you were ordering. Um, so, free shipping as of now when I'm putting out this video. That may change in the future. So, free shipping on parts, order the parts, they are dirt cheap, dirt cheap. Uh, the f wheel fenders um, on, on the Harbor Freight website for ordering them uh, as parts, uh, like less than, less than 10 bucks, I think. Yeah, I mean, dirt cheap compared to anywhere else. Uh, it's, you know, 50, 60, 100, sometimes $200 for the fender. So if you have any utility trailer that uses 12 inch diameter wheels these fenders will work and they're just bolted on uh, so you can get them from that parts list on the Harbor Freight website uh, for next to nothing it seems it, it feels like so the other thing what's great is, is that you can order extra parts to beef up this trailer or the other trailers like I did the cross beams that go from side to side, uh, this trailer comes with three: one at the end, one in, at at the front, and one in the middle. I ordered an extra one. Uh, I should have ordered extra an extra two, uh, and had four of them uh, or five of them. Uh, and the reason why was so that, and the reason for doing that is so that I could use a thinner. 
piece of plywood uh, on as the floor of the trailer to, to keep weight down. So that's the big reason why I did that. So you can order those, order those extra parts. The other thing is the side stake pockets. Um, and I'll go back around so you can see those. So on the big trailer, on the eight foot trailer, these are the side pocket stakes that, that met bolt onto the outside. Whereas this trailer, excuse the creakiness of the thing, See how wonderfully easy it was to slide that right off? Yeah, without dealing with hinge pins and all that nonsense. Okay, so as you can see down here, in the frame are cutouts for 1x4s to slide into. So, for front and back, I left it like that and used them as such in this way so that my uh, back gate is nice and lightweight. Yep. Simple drop in, good to go. So yeah, so I wanted my tailgate uh, for this trailer to be super thin and super lightweight. Where this guy, this guy is heavy as all get out. And was a pain in the butt to slide out of these grooves here. So I hate that. It works if you don't have this big, thick wooden side to it and all that extra weight from doing that. Um, but all together, didn't like that. This is the way to go. This is easy, simple, lightweight. Anybody can, can uh, remove and, and put back on that tailgate. The reason why I went with 2x4s on this end and I ordered these side stake pockets for the 2x4s is so that I had a nice um, sturdy platform on all four sides, two on each side for the lid and so that I could put the clasp here like that. Um, and it also therefore beefs up the strength and durability of the sides, gives that extra strength to the sides and all the whole square all together. Uh, the other reason why these guys are awesome is so that this comes all the way apart, all four sides in the lid come apart. I can store those on shelves in the garage or do the whole uh, hoist thing for the ceiling which is actually what I plan to do. Um, so I can, with pulleys, uh, uh, slam it up on the inside ceiling in the garage there completely out of the way and they're thin and they weigh next to nothing uh, de uh, deck paint is is the paint that I used it adds strength and durability and weather protection uh, without adding so much weight so I can keep the wood thin and the whole thing lightweight and compact but these so when I take all of this off I know there's a lot of talking but it's real important that I share all this with you so I take all of this off and I have those stake pockets for 2x4s <clears throat> and 2x4s are still somewhat fairly inexpensive now I've just got a flatbed trailer and I've got puzzle pieces basically or Lego pieces uh, that I can build any other kind of contraption on here so I can build a rack that uh, in an A-frame style so that the idea is just like you see those those trucks that carry um, your windows and glass sheets and and everything so I'm gonna build an A-frame style like this out of two by fours that plugs in drops in to those guys there the camera focuses um, drops into those stake pockets on the sides and it'll be set up to where I can put run sheets of plywood on both sides and then do all any other dimensional lumber all on the same rack and I'll have it to where uh, hinged pieces come down and sandwich it and clasp on with bungee uh, uh, heavy duty bungee straps and stuff uh, I haven't worked out all the details of the design but anyways the design plan is so that um, it's very simple for me to run to the hardware store and get all sorts of different size dimensional lumber and not have to deal with uh, tie down straps um, tearing up the corners and the edges 
of, of the wood. Um, so that's the idea, that's the plan, to have a, uh, a different plug and play as a Lego piece that drops down on there and can f facilitate all those needs and requirements of being able to go get all sorts of dimensioned lumber and haul it back home on this trailer rather than on the roof rack of the car. Um, cause getting stuff off of the roof rack of the cars, not so much fun, especially sheets of plywood and anchoring them down and worrying about all that. Yeah. Having a trailer with a, with a, uh, setup that's designed to carry that stuff a lot safer and a lot easier, uh, to load and unload. So just a much, much better way to go. So again all together the versatility of this trailer and being able to do all kinds of side configurations and frame configurations add-ons and stuff to these harbor freight trailers is unbelievable like uh, the limit is your mind is what you can dream up and then what you're able to configure uh, as your own handy skills yourself so I think I've covered pretty much everything uh, just a quick recap. Uh, this guy for your um, for your tongue jack, much better way to go. Um, if uh, another thing I didn't mention yet is the handle here. This handle, the uh, handle ordered this separately, did not come with the Harbor Freight trailer, but it's a must. It is definitely a must. Have some kind of a handle here because grabbing with your fingers and the and the ball coupling here is not fun you get your hands all nasty and that's not comfortable at all especially if there's some weight in the trailer so this is a must that's an awesome way to go wish I thought of that sooner uh, with previous trailers would save me a lot of uh, aggravation this guy as your hazard road kit basically with spare tire and everything you would possibly need as a detachable thing with to to go with the trailer and stay with the trailer is another awesome thing uh, using these guys instead of um, door hinges and pins this is definitely worth the extra bit of money these are definitely the better way to go as far as locks uh, and way of, of locking your lid onto your trailer uh, making sure you use screws that have either the hex bolt or the, um, the Allen wrench key or your star bit, something that's not your standard typical uh, flathead or Phillips head screwdriver removal uh, helps again tremendously um, trying to prevent theft. Uh, and then the last thing again replacement parts, replacement parts. Use Harbor Freight's website and, and that 1-800 number to order parts, extra parts, replacement parts. Be able, being able to replace those things at, at a dirt cheap cost and being able to customize and beef up or add on things to the existing Harbor Freight trailer by buying those extra parts it makes all the difference definitely definitely recommend so expense wise this is going to versus utility wise um, this is going to give you so much more utility so much more uh, uh, capability of customizing to make a very small compact trailer do anything and everything you could possibly think of as a trailer can do versus those uh, Hardware store trailers are a little bit, in general, pricier up front, and there's less you can do customization-wise without it being a pain. It's just altogether a pain. So, that's why I recommend the Harbor Freight trailers, and those are my little secrets on different ways you can do different things, uh, add-ons, customizations, accessories, and the versatility of all of it. So. Again, I hope you stayed with me for the whole video. I hope you got a lot out of it as I did go over a lot of things. And uh, that's it. I guess I'll see you guys next time on the next video. Thanks for watching. Hit like and, and subscribe and check out some of my other outdoor stuff. 
So I'll see you later. Bye.